So uh, before I came out to do chores, I noticed that uh, Morgan over at Goldshaw Farm, uh, a couple towns over here, um, put out a video on uh, the uh, cruel and disgusting practice of hounding coyotes up here. And uh, I haven't watched it yet because I didn't want to get all emotional and fired up and pissed off and calling and emailing Fish and Wildlife uh, again so I can get no response and get ignored. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, I've had to call a warden in the past month about hounds on my property. It's just uh, Morgan seems to have a way worse situation that I don't wish on anybody because, yeah, if I had the footage he's probably going to show in his new video today, uh, I'd probably be in jail or something, because uh, somebody shows up here and releases hounds on my farm to go after anything, I'm going to meet them with my shotgun and get them the hell out of here. Uh, got no tolerance for people who want to harm wildlife on my farm. I don't know why anybody would want to harm my dog's ancestors, wolves and coyotes. We don't actually have coyotes up here. They're, they're a mix of coyote and wolf. Um, we're supposed to just have wolves up here. And coy coyotes didn't show up. Hey, hey, you're not supposed to be narrating this video. This video is for me. You're not narrating. No. Uh-uh. No. So, yeah. We're supposed to have coyotes up here, uh, coyotes, <laughs> we're not supposed to have coyotes up here, we're supposed to have wolves, uh, coyotes have only been around since the 1940s or 50s, and, uh, that is because a bunch of new people moved into this area and ignored tradition and logic and sanity and started a murderous campaign of genocide against the wolves and the... Abenaki people who lived here alongside the wolves for over 10,000 years. <laughs> so, yes, we're supposed to have wolves here. It is the right of every person in New England to be able to hear a wolf at night. To hear them howling and calling their beautiful, beautiful songs. But uh, instead we have a mix of coyote and wolf up here. Thanks to people who moved in here and changed things from the way things were and the way things ought to be to the way things are now, which is not ideal. <laughs> yeah, before I go on a political rant here. Um, yeah, coyote hunting is not a sport because I've never met anybody who eats coyote. You know anybody who eats your ancestors, Buck? You know anybody? You guys? No, you're, you're supposed to be uh, men's best friend or something. Isn't that right? You're male human's best friend. So why would somebody go on a killing campaign against your ancestors? That doesn't make any logical sense, does it? I mean, just throwing that out there. <laughs> why would people who like dogs want to hurt wolves or coyotes? That doesn't make any sense. Does it? Nah, that doesn't make any sense. In previous videos, uh, if you go back, I mean, there's like 460 plus videos on the channel now, but <laughs> if you do a search, uh, I've got videos of coyotes visiting a trail cam where I leave chickens who have expired uh, down at the bottom of this field on a stump and uh, while I never actually see them with my bare eyes, the dogs do, and they howl at them at night. And, uh, bear howls back at them. Hey, leave it. Out of there. Thank you. Sneaky. Yeah, so... Ah! Coexistence is very important on this farm with the local predators and wildlife, and uh, I just can't see any reason to want to harm a coyote. I mean, you, 
there are ways to establish boundaries with them. Uh, I mean, I wish I had Morgan set up where everything was fenced in and I had livestock guardian dogs roaming around the boundaries of the farm, but even with a husky mix and a uh, English shepherd, we managed to have a relationship with coyotes here with no fence going around <laughs> the farm because uh, I can't quite afford that yet. Uh, where the goats have been safe and the pigs have been safe. And, uh, yeah, when chickens and ducks go missing, it's usually a critter other than a coyote. So, oop, we don't need to film bear pooping, do we? What really blows my mind is the ignorance surrounding wolves and coyotes. Uh, apparently there's a pack of idiots up here who think that farmers actually want them running hounds on their land and disturbing all the local wildlife that they've built up a relationship with over time and uh, whacking things out of balance and creating problems. Uh, they think that farmers actually want them to go after coyotes. Now, anybody who's taken a few minutes to read a book or do an internet search knows that when you go after coyotes and kill them, especially one of a mating pair, the next spring the coyotes overcompensate and they make even more pups. And those new pups don't know the rules that the previous coyotes had with the farmer where they established boundaries and rules and a general understanding of things and they come in and they predate your livestock. <sighs> so these tools with their hounds coming onto some farmer's land are creating a hell of a problem for that farmer. Especially if they're going after coyotes and bears and lynx and bobcats and mountain lions, every predator, you know? Just leave them alone. They are an uh, integral part of the ecosystems that we as farmers need to be successful on our farms and uh, for the planet to fucking function. Gotta drop at least one F-bomb in every video, don't I? But, <laughs> You can't just go into an area and say, I know better than nature, and wipe out entire functioning ecosystems and expect to not have humongous problems. So... I could do a whole other video on how education in this country is total shit and has gone to total shit even more since I was stuck in public schools, but I recommend that people educate themselves on the animals around them. So, uh, some good books on coyotes would be Coyote America and Suburban Howls. And, uh, yeah, there are more books about wolves than I can count, but these are the ones in my collection here. And, uh, if you are in the Northeast, I suggest, uh, after you educate yourself, or if you even already know about coyotes and wolves, a way to help them would be to support a group like uh, Restore the North Woods, which is over in Maine. There's also the Maine Wolf Coalition. There is the Vermont Coyote Coalition. And, um, let's see, Protect Our Wildlife Vermont. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's in New Hampshire. I imagine they have groups too. And uh, I'm not sure what's down in Mass, Rhode Island, or Connecticut. I'm sure some other channels can help out with that, but... Save our wildlife! I don't know why fish and wildlife and these coyote-killing, dog-hating goons want to run around with these hounds that sound like seals at a harbor in San Francisco or down the Cape or something in Massachusetts. They don't even sound like dogs. I just... I don't understand the whole thing. It's not traditional. The native people here were never doing this to wolves and coyotes. They wouldn't have dreamed of it because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't benefit people or other animals in any way. I just don't get it. Why would anyone want to hurt your ancestors, Bear? Why wouldn't they want them around? We have our native wolves back and they're protected. We could have healthy rivers again. 
and healthy forests and diversity, more species. It would help the birds, it would help the deer, it would help the moose, it would help everybody. If we could just have our wolves back. Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on. What? Is his lead stuck? There you are. There we go. That's a girl. Uh, Morgan's got a way bigger audience on his channel. So he's taking a much bigger risk. Doing a video about these hound assholes. And their bloodlust for the local wildlife here. So, nothing but respect there. We're a ways from the house right now out here where the boy goats and the uh, pigs are. And I might have something to do with my boar, even though he's a tiny boar, because kunikunis do not get big compared to commercial pigs and other heritage breeds that are enormous. But uh, I've had coyote footprints going right through here behind the pigs, following deer tracks, and they leave these guys alone. A coyote could easily hop this pig fence and make a giant mess of my pigs and uh, cause a really bad tragedy out here. And uh, they don't. And I think the reason for that is uh, this pack on my land um, knows me, knows the dogs, and knows where the boundaries are.